everyone and welcome to my Mother's Day gift guide. So I have got a bunch of gift recommendations here for you for Mother's Day which is creeping up on us, it's on Sunday. So if you haven't picked up something, now's your chance to do so. Some of these things are, well they're all beauty related really but I've kind of separated them into categories and I've got a nice array of different price ranges to talk to you about as well. So I'm going to start with fragrance because that is a lovely, lovely gift to buy for anyone I think really. But especially for Mother's Day because you want to buy them something that's very pampering and that they wouldn't necessarily buy themselves. That I think is absolutely key when it comes to buying a Mother's Day gift. You want something pampering and indulgent that they won't buy for themselves. So perfume definitely fits into that category. And the first one I've got right here is by Chloe and this is C by Chloe. And I'll just show you what the bottle looks like. It's a very pretty kind of slightly vintage looking bottle. It's just got this kind of pretty um, detailing here, the cute little ring on the lid and it's a very kind of pretty floral scent. It's not something that necessarily jumps out at you straight away but it's very mellow and gentle and I will put the link for it down below so you can go and have a look at the notes of it if you want to. But I've worn this a bunch of times and a few people have asked me what I'm wearing every time I wear this. It's a very very pretty, slightly unusual fragrance. The next one I've got is in a gift set because I think for a lot of people it's easy to just buy a gift set because it still looks like you've put thought into it but it's just a little bit more of an elaborate gift if that's what you're going for. This one is something I think most mothers would really be excited by and this is the Bulgari Jasmine Noir gift set. So this gift set is absolutely beautiful and in here you get the fragrance itself, which is this one right here. It's quite a kind of heavy, um, more mature scent and then this beautiful white leather pouch, which is absolutely amazing. And I think this is a really gorgeous gift and both of those things I mentioned were from Fragrance Direct, which is great because they're always quite heavily discounted on there, so I'll put all those links down below. Then I've also got a gift set here, and this is actually one of the kind of sanctuary mother-to-be gift sets, but that doesn't matter, and I just think sanctuary do some fantastic gift sets. This was from Fragrance Direct as well, and it's very inexpensive. And this is the Ultimate Retreat Hat Box, and I just picked this because I thought the design of it was absolutely beautiful and really different, and something that you could buy for an expecting mother. I've got a friend who's about to have a baby soon, and I am going to give this to her because I think it's really adorable. But in here, you get a kind of shower puff type of thing that's in my bathroom because I got that out and then you get the tummy soaking bath soak the um, cooling leg and foot gel the stretch mark oil which is always lovely and then the collagen boosting body butter which is amazing love all the sanctuary products I don't think I've ever really used a sanctuary product I didn't like and I think the packaging of this is absolutely absolutely beautiful. So love that. Then I've also got a gift set here by Elizabeth Arden and this is a very classic set to buy your mum because I think most women will have tried this and will kind of have a place for this in their life. And this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream travel set. In here you get the hand cream, the uh, um, 8 hour cream and the lip balm. The lip balm I have taken out and lives in my bag permanently because I love it. But I'm a huge fan of the original Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. 50 mils and you get the hand cream as well and I think it's a beautiful gift that shows a lot of thought and mums always love hand cream have you ever noticed that i think all mums enjoy a good hand cream so that is another option then i've also got this lovely kind of bath related um set here well all the products i'm going to talk about now are kind of bath related products but this is the spa indulgence set from champers that was my phone which we will ignore um and in here you get the mediterranean bliss bubble heaven the Distant Shores Body Scrub and the Spa Indulgence Exotic Retreat Body Cream. Really cute. The packaging here is really adorable as well and it's not too expensive. Nice kind of gift to buy if you're kind of trying to um, save a little bit of money or maybe if you just want to buy something small or you're someone younger and you haven't got that much money, this is a nice little option. Then moving on to kind of a slightly more expensive option <laughs> is the Elemis. Spa at Home Jasmine and Rose Milk Bath. This is amazing. I used this last night and my whole house smelled of it. It was just beautiful. It's a really large bottle. It's a very kind of liquid cream. It smells amazing. It smells very rose based but not in that kind of traditional slightly old rose type of smell. It's a very pretty, very fresh, lovely scent and I think anyone would love this. It's a great, great, great gift. 
And then one of my absolute all-time favourite gifts in general is this one by Aromatherapy Associates. If you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I love their products in general. But this is the Deep Relax Bath and Shower Oil. This is just amazing. Um, I have talked about these in a bunch of videos, but nothing can beat this. They're very expensive, but you need a tiny amount. It'll last you for ages, and they're so potent that everywhere will just smell amazing after you've finished using this. So I really, really recommend this. If you've got a mum who's quite stressed out or maybe has trouble sleeping, hi mum, um, then she will really like this because it's a great, great kind of sleeping aid and it's very, it's very relaxing and just a great, great gift. I really recommend this. I think this would be probably kind of my star buy. Then I've also got a candle to kind of add to the relaxing sensation here. My favourite candle company, as you all know, is Kringle Candles, and this is their Baby Dreams candle. This just smells like fresh, lovely talcum powder. It smells amazing. Love, love, love this. I love all their fragrances. They're my favourite candle company by far, and I think every mum would love to receive a candle, and this is a nice kind of relaxing scent that's nice for spring. And then, last but not least, I've got just a couple of kind of small things that you could just pick up in boots if you are really pushed for time and you wanted to buy something quite special for your mum. And these are both from Soap and Glory. And I love kind of doing bath products as a gift because, as I said, it's not something that you'd necessarily always buy yourself. So here I've got the Calm One Calm All Bath. What is this called? It's sort of like a bubble bath, I suppose, but lovely classic soap and glory scent just really really relaxing and inexpensive and then also the the scrub of your life body scrub and if you just wrap both of these in a nice sort of pink wrapping put a nice big bow on it it look really really pretty and it would make a beautiful gift for your mum and you haven't spent too much money and you can just nip out and pick it up in boots on your lunch break if you haven't already so now you've got no excuse to not buy your mum a mother's day present and i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite gift that you've ever given your mum is and what you'd love to receive if you are a mum. I'm not a mum yet um, but I can't wait to be able to like have Mother's Day as well. It's like having an extra birthday or something, it's great. And don't forget to appreciate how fantastic your mums are because it probably is the hardest job in the world and you know take your hat off to anyone who does a good job like my mum did. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!